Hey guys, welcome back to another Young Chaos Game Review. It's January 10th, 2024, and we'll be checking the Iron Shop out for today. So I am noticing we do have two new jam tracks, and there is a little bit of a weird little uh, situation right now. As you can see on the icons when previewing, previewing them right here, it says this song doesn't have any art yet, or album art yet, with a sad face. It's kind of random, very, very weird, as we can clearly see that there are uh, some images when we hover over it on the right. But anyways, we can't feel my face. This is a new jam track. Five. 100 V bucks. All these do seem to uh, stay around 500 V bucks. And we also have stitches, 500 V bucks. Pretty cool ones there. These ones can be used, of course, in festival and also on the main stage for the um uh, that extra little jam loop uh, game mode, which is pretty cool. And then we also do have all the other jam tracks still in here from um I guess just weeks and weeks of them building up. But now going through the rest of the Iron Shop, I don't think we have anything else new, but we do have Amplitude returning. This is our outfit, 1200 V-Bucks. The skin does include quite a bit of customization. We have a secondary white variant and the missive that you can turn on and off. And the primary color you will be seeing on the, the missive is pretty much the reactivity. So if you have that on, you will be seeing a uh, difference with doing all these different primary colors. You'll see, yeah, the different lights, it shines a different color based on the primary color you are choosing. And these, these uh, emissives are reactive to music, which is really, really cool. It like has the beats and everything. Awesome skins here. And we also have a Lego variant for the skins. We have Harmonizer. These are all 12 and V-Bucks, by the way. So we have Harmonizer, Melody Maverick, Bandpass, and Pop Prodigy. Pretty cool skins right there. And then going through the top, we do have a um, good amount of Marvel skins returning so with the x23 bundle returning a total of five items for 1900 v bucks so you have x23 with the batman clone pod this is a marvel series outfit 1500 v bucks this skin does include that secondary mask off variant and we also have x23's claws a marvel series harvesting tool this one is 800 v bucks pretty cool ones there and x in sigma this is uh, um, a marvel series wrapping i believe this one is 300 v bucks it cannot be sold separately though so kind of random there Pretty cool one there, and you can buy the skin and harvesting tool separate. We have X-Force Outfits Bundle Returning. This is a total of nine items, so quite a bit of items here. So we cycle off with the wrapping Shuro Yuki, uh, sorry. This is a Marvel Series Outfit, 1500 V-Bucks, kind of a weird name right there. And this skin does include a Lego variant, which is pretty cool. Not many of these Marvel Series skins have one, so cool to see some actually do. And we have the Mino, uh, Domino with the wrapping uh, Domino Pack. Uh, Marvel Series outfit, 1500 V-Bucks. The skin also includes that Lego variant. It looks pretty nice there. And Cable with the wrapping Cable Cloak. A Marvel Series outfit, 1500 V-Bucks. Also with the Lego variant. Kind of weird they had to make the skin a lot less bulky than what it is into this Lego variant. I think they did an alright job for what they could do. And you buy all three skins separate. With the X-Force Gear Bundle returning a total of four items. We have played a Marvel Series Harvesting Tool. This one is 1200 V-Bucks. Yes. Pretty expensive one there. The side rider on Mars Series Glider, also 1200 V Bucks, and Probability Dagger on Mars Series Harvesting Tool, 800 V Bucks, and Unstoppable Force on Mars Series Harvesting Tool, 800 V Bucks, and you buy everything else separate. We also still, um, I don't know if this was actually from yesterday's Iron Shop, we'll still cover it. We have Bachi returning with Bapping Mochi, our skin 1200 V Bucks. The skin does include that secondary spy variant, which I think looks very clean. Also with that Lego variant, you Jones the first, and then come out for 800 V Bucks, also with the Lego variant, great one there. Bridget and then come out for 800 V-Bucks, a total of three different color variants. They did a great job on some of those. Also of a fantastic looking Lego style. We did an epic game of 800 V-Bucks and Joe Bug a room of 500 V-Bucks. And then I believe that that is if they actually, I cannot remember if this was here. I don't think it was here in yesterday's Iron Shop, but we'll just cover it. So we Renegade Run over the mapping Raiders Run Sack. It's a risk in 12 new V-Bucks. This is a pretty awesome pack right here. Also with that um, Lego variant. And we have Renegade Star and the like Gamaru Sinto, 500 V-Bucks. Mark of the Renegade, a wrapping 500 V-Bucks, and for buying the bunny, you get the Uncommon Legion and Renegade Reunion. Pretty cool there, and you buy the skin and the Harvesting Tool separate. Also, we do have a bunch of the customizable um, skins right here. I don't know what they call them, the tie-dye skins, I guess. And these skins are very customizable. We did have one still here from yesterday's item shop, and the rest of the set did just return. If you don't know what you can do with these skins, you can change the pattern and three different color options, which will completely mix up the skin. Almost endless customization. I really love these skins. You get well worth the 800 V-Bucks that you pay for each of them. So we uh, Wavy Warrior, Sunburst Dawn, Swirl Girl, Dying Breeze, and Far Out Vibes, and the Gnar Tool, 500 V-Bucks. Just like the other skins, the skin does have three, I mean this harvesting tool does have three different um, color variants that you can choose from to mix and match the harvesting tool even more. And I believe that is it for today, a pretty big item shop. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you are new, just like, and hit the bell. Bye!